it's Miranda here with Doing Life, and today I am participating in a crock pot challenge that Gina, with Gina in a bottle, asked me to participate in. So there is my crock pot meal. But to get started, if you don't know if you're brand new to my channel, uh, just a little bit about myself. I have three boys. I am a brand new grandmother. My grandson is now six weeks old. His name is Waylon, and I've been married to my husband, Mike, for 19 years. He just celebrated his 42nd birthday. But um, I currently live in Nebraska. I tell everybody that I'm a Tennessee girl living in a Nebraska world because I am a Tennessee girl. I don't talk like anybody else around here. There's not very many Southern sounding people in um, North Salt, Nebraska. So anyways, there's my crock pot meal. But today, I'm not making a crock pot meal for this challenge. I'm actually going to make Matthew's favorite sandwich and that is a peanut butter and sauce. So I've got my Texas toast here. I already toasted it. I'm going to slap on my peanut butter. I don't know y'all can't even see it, but there's some peanut butter going on here. And why not just put it on both sides? It's a big old piece of toast and I'm gonna put lots of peanut butter on it. Get as much off as possible and then we have our jet puff here marshmallow cream get a big old scoop of that that's very uh, healthy there but it's good and put that on there yum oh seriously and then most important part, put it together <laughs> and we'll cut it into a triangle just for fun. So there you go. There is how to make a peanut butter and fluff sandwich. If you are utterly confused about this video, please make sure that you click the link below and go to Gina's channel and see why I did not make a crock pot meal for this video. I made a peanut butter and fluff. Have a good day. Bye. Matthew's, one of Matthew's favorite sandwiches, and that is peanut butter.